Hello everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor with another Halo 4 gameplay commentary. As always, you know you're going to get my signature tips and tricks to help you start winning more games and having a lot more fun while you're doing it. You're going to step your game up to the next level if you follow the tips that I give you here. Uh, I'm going to be talking about map awareness and map control, talking about teamwork and communication, and also I have some really exciting and important announcements, some updates to my channel and uh, you're not going to want to miss any of the content here, so make sure you, to stay tuned throughout the video. Uh, let me start by explaining I'm playing on the map Meltdown, and I've really made a concentrated effort to bring you gameplays from all the different maps in Halo 4, okay? And as new maps continue to be released, I'll continue to show you uh, gameplays from the new maps and the new game types. You know, what I could do, and what a lot of people do, is they just show you their very best games. And the problem with that is, is if I showed you my 20 best games, probably like 18 of them would be on Haven. Like all you would get is like 18 Haven games and maybe uh, a couple on Exile. That's it. Uh, but I don't do that because you need to have a well-rounded approach. You need to be familiar and comfortable with all the different maps. And one of the best ways to familiarize yourself with the maps is to watch other people play on them and kind of see what their approaches are, right? As you watch my videos, you're able to see how I approach different situations and you're able to see through my gameplay and my commentary what are some of the different uh, you know, hot spots on the map, what are some of the choke points, how do I move around, uh, so on and so forth. And so I really strongly suggest you go onto my channel, watch all the different videos, all the different maps, and that way you can get a really good feel for how I move around and how I navigate the different maps. Now, um, of course, I'm not, I'm not a pro and uh, you know I don't play every game perfectly and there's a lot of room for improvement so the other thing that I recommend that you do is go into the theater mode uh, you know after you play a game check out who is the top player in that game whether it was a teammate or an opponent and then save the film go into the theater and watch the game as that person plays throughout the game I'll tell you guys all my best tactics and tips and tricks I've stolen from my opponents, okay? If I play a game where I absolutely get creamed, uh, what I do is I go into the theater and I watch how the player did it. I watch how he moved around, what weapons he was using, what armor abilities he was using, how did he get around the map, and you get so many good ideas by doing this. That can be such a valuable exercise. It's very, very uh, productive. So I, I strongly suggest that you spend some time in the theater watching over videos of players who are successful and uh, you know you can do it on YouTube, you can do it in the theater, and finally I suggest that you go into the forge mode and that you uh, explore all the different maps. You figure out you know what are some of the jumps that you can make, what are some of the jumps you can't make, how can you move around the, the map while using the cover properly and, and move around as quickly and as safely as possible. You know what are the different spawn areas, where do people spawn, so on and so forth, where are the bases. And as you familiarize yourself with the map, you're going to be a lot more successful. And eventually, you're going to want to identify what areas on the map are kind of those hot spots, right? What areas on the map really, if you can occupy that area, you have a strong advantage. Every map has hot spots. These are areas where if you occupy them, you know, you really have great visibility, great escape points, and just in general, a superior advantage over your opponents. And so you want to be able to identify these and find ways to, to control those. Okay, so that's very important to do. Uh, now, similar to hotspots, but slightly different are choke points. Now, choke points are areas where people are bound to die a lot. So hotspots are areas where you can earn a lot of kills. Choke points are areas where you're going to die a lot. Okay, you want to know where those areas are. You want to control those areas. Okay. So you don't want to fall victim to those uh, choke points. You want to be able to control the choke points and kill any of your opponents that pass through those areas, okay? Now, in order to do all these things, you need to be working together with your teammates. You need to have a coordinated effort. And in order to do that, you really need to communicate with one another, okay? This is very, very important. If you have a headset, make sure that you're using it if you don't have a headset, go out and buy one. That you know, save up your money. They're like eight dollars, ten dollars, maybe less. You probably have one that came with your Xbox as it is, and 
You know, you don't need an expensive headset to communicate effectively. I I use the cheap little uh, headset that came with my Xbox, and it works very very well. That's the one I prefer. And if you're if you're not using it, you really ought to begin because you're doing it yourself a disservice if you're not communicating through your headset. Um, some of the things you know, everybody asks me, what do you talk about? Well. For one thing, you need to talk about the game at hand. Don't talk about things that are irrelevant to the gameplay. If you want to chit-chat, do that in the lobby between games, not during the game. During the game, you want to talk about your teammates and, and creating a coordinated effort. So, for example, if you're going to push over into uh, an opponent's stronghold or just you want to go out there and be a little more aggressive, you want to communicate with your teammates and do that together. Additionally, if it's time to be a little more defensive, and uh, you know, kind of withdraw somewhat and, and regroup as a team, you wanna communicate that through your headset as well. Other things you can communicate is uh, if power weapons are available or if vehicles are available, you wanna be able to coordinate with your teammates on those items as well. You know, Make sure that you're using the warthogs, you're driving one another around, so on and so forth. Uh, these are all very important things that you can do as you communicate with the team. Now, one of the most important principles that I like to tell people about when it comes to teamwork is packs and pairs always beat lone wolves, okay? What I mean by that is you always want to move around with a buddy system, okay? You want to have at least two, maybe three or four of your teammates with you at all times, okay? So if you see uh, a teammate going out and playing a lone wolf style, go out there and back them up. You know, communicate through your headset, hey, I've got your back, you know, let's go out there together. Or, on the other hand, if you see a teammate out there who's playing lone wolf style and there's no way you can get out there even if you wanted to, you communicate through your headset, hey, I don't have your back, why don't you come back here, we'll regroup and go out there together, okay? This is the kind of things you want to talk about. Now, you know, when it comes to, uh, you know, teamwork, it's always easier if you're playing with people that you know you can trust. If you're playing with friends who you've played with before, that really makes a, a huge, huge difference, right? And so, you know, I get a ton of friend requests on Xbox Live from, from fans of my channel and random people who I meet, and I really can't possibly accept uh, even a fraction of these because I get, I get tons of them every single day. And so uh, I really appreciate that, that you guys enjoy watching my videos, and I hope you continue to enjoy watching them. But I, I, I don't accept random friend requests on Xbox Live from people I've never met. However, I do have some exciting announcements. Number one, I've created an account on Facebook. It's Halo 4 Tutor. There's a link in the description as well as on my channel homepage. So go and connect with me on Facebook. That's a great way to connect with me and stay up to date on all the news and my new videos and so on and so forth. Additionally, I've opened a Twitter account. It's very simple, Halo 4 Tutor. And, uh, you know, I'm an old dog trying to learn new tricks, and uh, the, so I'm jumping onto Twitter. And, you know, this is going to be, the most important thing about Facebook and Twitter is that I'm going to be announcing on these, these sites my open game nights, okay? If you haven't heard about these, they're a great way to meet new people. What the open game night is, I have them about once a week. And during open game night, anybody can join me and my friends for a few games of Halo. It's a lot of fun. It's casual. Uh, but, but it's a great way to meet new people who are passionate about the game, who are, are willing and uh, able to learn and grow and improve and, and communicate and work together as a team. And so it's a whole lot of fun. You don't want to miss out on these. And the way that you can find out about my open game nights is on, on my Facebook account and on my Twitter account. So make sure that you're following the, me there if you haven't already. Uh, again, I strongly discourage you from sending me random requests on Xbox Live because uh, I really I have a tight knit group of friends that I play with right now, and uh, let me let me tell you how I've made most of my friends, and uh, you know how I, I think if you're looking for some some more friends on Xbox Live, maybe what you ought to consider doing. Uh, you know when I play with random people, which I do often, uh, you know I you just got to be friendly and communicate and work together as a team. Do a lot of the things I've already talked about. Um, you know, when it comes to in-game communication, focus on the gameplay. Talk to each other. Let people know, hey, I've got your back or I don't have your back. Hey, uh, you know, you want to jump in this warthog with me. Um, hey, let's make sure that we've captured this base or we're running with this flag or, 
so on and so forth. Hey, uh, there's an extra power weapon down over here. Do you want to grab it? Do you need an extra weapon? I've got a regen shield here. Do you need Do you need me to throw it down for you? All kinds of things like this. You just talk during the game, and you develop that trust with your teammates, even if they're random teammates. If you do this, I guarantee people are going to want to be your friends, right? I've made so many friends simply by... Uh, you know communicating with uh, random players during games and then you know when they save my bacon I say hey, thanks. I appreciate that. Thanks for keeping an eye out for me Additionally when they say hey, I'm in trouble. I'm out there I'm trying to get I'm trying to bail them out as best as I can when you do stuff like that You know people really begin to trust you and they want to play with you more often right that people are always looking for friends who are willing to communicate in games who uh, you know are willing to take a team-oriented approach? Who are uh, polite and helpful? You know, people are always looking for friends like this. And so, if you are that kind of player, you're gonna make more friends on Xbox Live. And so, again, I can't be I can't be on everybody's friends list. And even if uh, you know you manage to get on my friends list, uh, most of my friends will tell you you probably won't even play with me that often because I'm usually busier making videos than I am actually playing the game so anyway make sure that you've you've matched up with me on on Facebook and on Twitter uh, try some of these approaches that I've recommended when it comes to making new friends because uh, you know the, the Halo community would be a much better place if we were all work together as a team and we all communicate with one another right uh, make sure that you've gone into the theater you've gone onto my channel you've gone into forge You've watched the videos, you've explored the maps, you've mastered all the different pathways and all the different hot spots and, and the choke points. Um, make sure you're communicating with your teammates. And as you do all these things, as I've told you before, I'll tell you again, you're going to win a lot more games. You're going to have a lot more fun while you're doing it. So if you haven't checked out all the other videos on my channel, I have a lot of other maps and other game types with a lot of other uh, videos and game types to come. SWAT was just released. I'm going to be releasing a SWAT video tomorrow, so make sure that you've subscribed for that. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. This is Halo 4 Tutor signing out. I'll see you next time.